Sir, permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Permanent back their bomb. Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo 2. Did I actually turn my sound up? No, I didn't. That's the largest Covenant fleet I've ever seen. The largest anyone's ever seen. Get inside the temple and kill Regret before it can stop us. So we're gonna go hunt down Regret, huh? Neat. Let me turn that back down. All right. So are we still on the same mission? We're on uh, regret. Yeah. Wow. Part time is 15 minutes. Sometimes I, I wonder what part times in Halo are set based on. And then I vanish into the night, cowardly running away. Suffer not a jackal to live. I like how it like squeaks on the lower difficulties. Give me one of these. I want to play some more with one of these. Eh? Am I supposed to go this way? Probably not, right? <laughs> Interesting. Oh yeah, there was a uh, there was a thing that I um, wanted to mention but then forgot. There's this weird bug uh, that Rooster Teeth talks about because Rooster Teeth makes you know machinima with Halo. The Covenant fleet has launched multiple waves of phantoms. Too many for me to track. We don't have much time. Oh boy. There are armor guards all over this place. Watch your back. Ah! I love it whenever this happens. Whenever it ends up being real cheap and easy to grab one of these. Because, like, hey, thanks for the weapon you gave me, dickhead. Alright. Um, but yeah, so there's this bug in the Halo engine. I forget which engines it's in. But it's called the bump. Um, and it's where you... Whenever you're passing by something with a camera... The camera is treated like it's a person, and so they can knock into physics objects. And it's annoying because things will just fall over when they're not supposed to, or they'll get jostled. And like, whoa, there he is! The target. Take him out. No, like, banter. What? That was easy. Was that? Was that it? Phantoms are turning around. The fleet is preparing to fire on our position. We need to get out of here. That was almost anticlimactic. I just hit him like three times. I guess he's not like a fighter. You know, so it makes sense, but like... Eh? I did say Halo is not known for its boss fights. Oh, well, now you can go down there, huh? What the fuck? Is that the grave mind? I guess it must be, right? What the fuck? Bro, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Sanctum of the Hyrule. Oh. 
brutes, man. This is unprecedented. Unacceptable. A hierarch is dead, Commander. His murderer was within our grasp. If you had not withdrawn our phantoms... Are you questioning my decision? No, Holy One. I only wish to express my concern that the brutes... Recommissioning the Guard was a radical step. But recent events have made it abundantly clear that the elites can no longer guarantee our safety. Ugh. I shall relay your decision to the Council. So elites are just too smart for the prophets. Oh, how tiresome. Do you know, Arbiter, the elites have threatened to resign, to quit the High Council, because of this exchange of hats? We have always been your protectors. These are trying times for all of us. Even as the human's annihilation filled us with satisfaction, I wonder what the original looks like. I haven't seen one of these before. Wrapped our hearts with grief. Putting aside our sorrow, we renewed our faith in the prophecy that other rings would be found and see Very quiet. how our faith has been rewarded. He's propelling all who are worthy along the path to salvation. But how to start this process? For ages we searched for one who might unlock the secrets of the rings. An oracle. And with your help we found it. With appropriate humility, we plied the Oracle with questions, and it, with clarity and grace, has shown us the key. You will journey to the surface of the ring and retrieve this sacred icon. With it, we shall fulfill our promise. Salvation for all! And begin the great journey. Jesus. Once the shield is down, We'll head straight to the library. I do not wish to keep the Hierarchs waiting. The human that killed the Prophet of Regret. Who was it? Who do you think? The demon is here? <laughs> Why? Looking for a little payback? Retrieving the Icon is my only concern. <laughs> of course. Very Star Wars-like. Tab. Did that skip it? Oh well. Let me crank that sound back down. Oh whoa! They're repairing it. That's fantastic. And they took away my sword. Damn. Probably not even gonna get a sword here. Don't worry, I know how. So that big obnoxious uh, tutorial that happens in some Halos. Yeah, sometimes they just skip that in um. Legendary, because they're like, look, if you're here, you know. Oh, you're a friend. Wow, what the hell happened here? What is this? There we go. What are you shooting at, dude? I feel like I'm skiing here. No fall damage, though. That's cool. The fall damage always fucked my shit up in uh, Halo 1, as you likely remember. Right. And if you're watching this in the chronological order, 
than you'll have likely seen the first episode of ODST, wherein one of the first things you do is take fall damage. Because the game wants to be like, hey. Oh, they're clown cars. But yeah, the game wants to be like, hey, there's going to be fucking fallen damage in here because you're not a Spartan. You're not badass. You're not cool. You're just some guy. Little did Bungie know that just some guy would be as cool as Master Chief. As is often the case. Okay, so the Covenant are on my side in this mission. And instead I'm fighting the Forerunners, which are... Like I talked earlier about how um, you kind of have... Uh, the two factions of humans and coveys. And then later on they give you the other next faction of the Flood. And this is a similar thing, but instead of the next faction being the Flood, we now have Forerunners and Flood all coexisting within another. Which I like. I like um, big complicated uh, like charts of, of shit you have to keep track of. There's one reason why I like the Fall at New Vegas, which is, I believe we're still playing. Or is still being played. It's a brute here. Wow. So I've been staying out on the uh, Halo Infinite spoilers. All I want to know is who the hell is Craig? Craig's apparently, like, an uh, important brute, and he's just a brute named Craig, and he looks dumb. I feel like the next, the, the current uh, Halo trilogy is going much the way that the uh, sequel trilogy did for Star Wars. Um, and my theory about the sequel trilogy that I may have voiced before is that they had the original version, right? They had that all in their heads. And then they changed directors. And then that guy made his own version of the second movie based on where he thought the first movie was going. And then they changed directors again. And then that guy made his own version based on where he thought the eighth movie was going. Instead of just making a movie and a sequel to that movie and then a third sequel to that movie. You know? Like, imagine that there are three separate trilogies. Like, imagine there are three separate trilogies. Like, the episode 7 that we got is the first movie of one trilogy. The episode 8 that we got is the second movie of a different trilogy. And the episode 9 is the third movie of a different trilogy. And we essentially, like, if you stack them on top of each other, we essentially got, like, a diagonal slice through the, the hypothetical way that they were going to take Star Wars. And sometimes I feel that way about um, what I know based on this this new trilogy that's happening. Because 4 looks like it's all Forerunner shit. And then 5 looks like it's interdepartmental UNSC shenanigans. So I know that the Arbiter, like, turns face. You know, he does switch sides and become good. You know, good. Oh, wow. Looks amazing out there. Buyer's remorse. Oh, are we doing one of these? All right. Let's party. It's so interesting to see, because the thing is, this isn't the first Halo, you know, this is Delta Halo. But, like, it is interesting, really interesting, in fact, to see the other point of view, you know? Like, what are the Covenants? Just do it yourself, you dumbass. Yo, we got floods? Yeah, we got floods. Oh boy, do we got floods. Hup. 
Oh, those are humans. Th those are humans. How is that? How are the humans here? What happened? I want an SMG. Give it to me. There we go. Yeah. Look at how these look. My dumb little alien hands. What the hell was that? So this is our look on a uh, upscaled flood. Yeah, nothing crushes ass so much as like Arbor with a Arbiter with a battle rifle. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be going, everyone. Also, I need a haircut, I'm thinking. My hair's getting really long and it's tickling me. Whereas I am a very naturally ticklish little fellow. So how are there already zombies here? Because we're on Delta Halo. Chief is on Delta Halo. Did, like, did they already get bodied by the Flood? Because from Chief's point of view, we haven't even found the Flood. I guess we have. We found the Grave Mind. Or at least that's what I assume that is. And one of the things about regenerating health is that without anything to kill you, eventually you'll just, you know, zero sum, basically. Oh man, really? All right, one moment, everyone. I'll be right back. Hey, and we're back. So for whatever reason, uh, that door just opened this time and it didn't last time, I think. I saw them opening and closing, but nothing came of it. Bullets should be good on the flood, right? Because they, they tear apart flesh. Well, plasmas for shields. And then this is another piston. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Uh, yep. This is so weird to see the Arbiter with his big meaty alien paw around, <laughs> around this little human pistol. Stay away. All right. I find that it's uh, it can be really useful to like corner around something, and that makes sure that you uh, go away, babies. That makes sure that you can like cut the damage. Shit, man! Oh, look, they have little hats now. Restock, refresh. No rules, just right. Outback Steakhouse. Now let's boogie. Oh, hi. Gotta say, this is a weird cast. But I am digging it. Whoa. So yeah, humans are on Delta Halo. So I guess while Chief is unconscious, and for that matter, while the Rookie and the rest of the ODSTs are back in Mombasa, yeah, ODST and the Rookies are back in Mombasa. And then Chief is currently unconscious and being pulled under by the Grave Mind. Be a wall that was going on. That's a that sounds like a half life sound effect. Be a wall that was going on. Humans have found their way deeper into Delta Halo and found the flood, I guess. Work 
good, we're good, we're good. Oh boy. I like the bodysuit that Arby has to wear. I don't know what it is, but something about it I dig. You can hear my washer knocking in the background, maybe? Ignore that I'm doing uh, some chores. Hey, someone has to keep the house running. It's not going to be my brother-in-law. Jeez. Oh, wait. Yeah, I've got this. Can't hit what you can't see, I assume. You know, I, I, I assume, but I don't know. I just... I'm making an assumption here. Because you'd think that they would navigate based on smell. Well, then again, because when uh, when the Covenant first get here, and they're like, you know, discovering that there's uh, Zambambos in here, they're like, ugh, that stench, you know, that smell, gross. And that's like, that's the biggest thing. So maybe all the floods smell so bad that they aren't actually, like, meant to use scent to track things. Or maybe it depends from uh, species to species. This is a pit, isn't it? Oh. Very well. Because uh, if I remember correctly, brutes can actually track by scent a little easier than humans or elites can. Oh god, I shot his arm off. He just melted. Where? Who? Freaky. Yeah, the, the noises that they make really sound like uh, Half-Life 1 zombies. And to a lesser extent, Half-Life 2. Yes, I am lost. I assume that there's a button I need to push, but I haven't found it yet. Oh boy. Oh, it's so gruesome the way that they like run into a hail of bullets only to be melted. What a horrible existence they live in. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. Don't mind me, everyone. I was stupid. Oh, it's getting all greasy in here. Yeah, the vibe for the, the future levels aren't very, like, gross. Like, because this is, this is, it's a little dusty, but it's pretty clean, honestly. Like, it's icky, sure, but it's not like a nightmare. Oh, my hair's so long. It's getting everywhere. Okay. Let's... Let's switch, shall we? There should be more alien protagonists in games. And I'm not just saying that as a simp for Garrus for Carrion. I am, but that's not why I'm saying it. I love that the Arbiter's been trained enough that he knows how to use uh, human weapons. Because honestly, I think Chief knowing how to use alien weapons is more realistic. Because all the alien weapons aren't reloaded. And some material implies that they can be reloaded, but most humans just don't know how to do it. But, you know, it's a gun, and they're soldiers. You know? You point it, and you shoot it. That's all there is to it. It's simple. Because, you know, it works like any other gun. It's just a gun, that's all. So all you really need is to just know how to shoot a gun, and 
Chief knows how to shoot every gun that humanity's ever made, so switching over shouldn't be too hard. And, you know, the idea that they just don't, like, that humans don't reload Covenant weapons or that they don't know how to, that makes sense. I don't know if it makes more or less sense than them not using it at all. Jesus. Yeah, this battle rifle is not really pulling its weight. I'm going to switch over to this. Oh, hold on. That's a bug. If you stand here, the lighting's normal. Weird. Anyway, because, like, imagine that you've never seen a shotgun in your life, you know. Where did he go? But yeah, you've never seen a shotgun in your life, and someone's like, here, reload this, you know? You would be like, well, I don't know what the hell that is. That's, uh, that's weird. You know, and like, if you would use guns before, you'd be able to figure out that like, oh, I probably pull this thing that looks like a trigger, and stuff will come out of the hole in the end. And then this thing goes against my shoulder, or in my elbow if I'm a dumbass. You know. Clearer floors in the, uh, in, the uh, in the past. Anyway, all I'm saying, I think that the Arbiter probably might not even know how to reload human weapons. The, the idea that he would be trained in it would make sense. Because recall that, um, you know, back when he was just Thel Vadami. How do you pronounce that? Thel Vadami? Vadami? Or is it Vadami? Oh, interesting. Yeah, back when he was just a regular Arbiter, I mean a regular Elite, they talked about how, um, you know, he was a scary motherfucker because he doesn't have tactics. He doesn't work like the Covenant. He's willing to use, you know, advanced weaponry and advanced tactics and, like, a bunch of other shit. Because one of the reasons that, uh, one of the reasons, wow, that's a stark difference. One of the reasons the Covenant are uh, not getting their ass completely handed to them is because uh, humans know how to work around Covenant tactics, you know? That's why very small, plucky teams or even single units can fight or hold out against the Covenant, you know? Like a team of seven ODSTs or some Spartans or one Master Chief, you know? But then back in the day, Thelvotomy was the exception, because he was, like, scary no matter what. But yeah, it would make sense if he had, like... God, do you think the Arbiter had, like, a collection of human guns? Like, he would take them out to the equivalent of, like, a Covenant firing range and just shoot them? Just, like, figure out how they're supposed to work? Jesus. No. We're back to seeing elites that have uh, been zombo buffied. Yo, but elites with machine guns, though. I've got to say, anytime a zombie picks up a gun, I'm very worried about it. Because either it'll get really, really cool, or really stupid. There's really not a lot of in-between. Like, zombies with guns is either like, oh cool, what an interesting mix-up. Or it's like, stupid. In this case, I think it works well. Because like, 
They're still the same things. They've just got a big hunk of what is essentially fungus growing out of them. Yes. Oh my god. That's that's really cool. Fuck, I should have looked at it with a RTX on. Yep. Whoa. Wait, maybe it's maybe the reason that the music is louder in this version is because my settings are different for that. I don't know if that makes any sense, but Wow. 100,000 years war. I guess that refers to the uh, Cold War that the... Oh, hey guys. What's up? That's a... That's a rocket launcher. Anyway, yeah, 100,000 years war is probably a reference to the uh, Covenant's or the uh, uh, Forerunner's grudge on the Flood. Oh god, what is that sound? This isn't going well. I'm gonna bug out. So it looks like uh, Invisiblest uh, will get cancelled when hit. I wonder if the uh, Arbiter's stealth factors strongly into some speedruns. Because, like, I love seeing stealth speedruns of games. Because sometimes it's, like, completely implausible. Like, um, very early on to the speedrun of Metal Gear Solid 1 on the PSX... Um, Snake like knocks on a wall next to a guy as that guy's coming down out of an elevator the guy turns and looks before the elevator hits the ground and uh, he starts walking out of the elevator before that elevator touches the ground and Snake starts walking in as he's walking out and totally like sneaks right past him Or sometimes games that aren't necessarily stealth games are uh, speed run quicker, speed ran quicker in stealth. In Dark Souls 3, there's a spell called Spook that uh, makes your footsteps, makes the sound of your footsteps go away. And the way that you speed run Dark Souls 3 is by clipping yourself into a wall and then just going full sprint. Uh, and no one will ever be able to hear you because this isn't the way forward, is it? I just want to test. Shout out to Mr. Keith David, though. For real. Oh, I love skating into fools. You give me that. Oh. Mine has more charge still. All right. Now where are we going? Oh, right. It's a friend. Get away from him. Oh, yo, yo, yo. So they even... Interesting. I don't think they did that in the first game. They'll even inhabit dead bodies.
Overkill? Yeah. The idea that a, uh, the Arbiter knows how to use the technical weapon of a rocket launcher. I don't know. Something about it amuses me greatly. So where are we supposed to be headed here? Oh, okay. Well, that, that's fine. I'll keep recording. In the center of this zone is a sacred icon critical to the great journey. I must find it. We shall cut into the heart of this infestation, retrieve the icon, and burn any flood that stand in our way. Parasite is not to be trifled with. I hope you know what you're doing. All right. So it looks like it's. It looks Lord, like it's a almost an even split between um, arbiter levels and uh, chief levels. So, uh, where are we going, huh? Okay, in my defense, last time that was nothing. I thought that it was a door that had opened. Get out. I'm driving. Jesus. This thing looks cool. I guess someone probably has to be in the back to uh, get the gun part going, huh? Hell yes. So uh, that's that's Undying, which I used for the Halo Reach intro because it's amazing. Yo, what? We're actually going to get to fight humans? Word? I'm tweaking out. This is radical. So the, the thing about um, being in what is essentially the Covenant's equivalent of a Warthog is that it can actually take kind of a beating. Which means that if I want to just sprint past everything and keep on going, I... Kind of have the run of it to do so. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Now this area reminds me of... Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> yeah, make it. This area reminds me of Destiny, is what I was going to say. Whoa, there's a flood! And that's a scorpion! Are these guys working together? So, there was probably a lot of cool gunplay back there, but uh, I really liked just driving through all of it. Because I'm sure that this game isn't going to give me my Warthog run, you know? God, why would they do that? I mean, I feel pretty confident in saying that there's going to be a Warthog run in this game, too. Because, like, I know for a fact that they did it in 3. I, like, five months ago, saw it in one. I know that there's going to probably be a Warthog run in this game, too. But you know what? The Warthog run is great. Jesus. Let's 
Excuse me, robot. See, your weakness is that you're using your eyes to perceive the world around you. You should just sniff. Oh, hey, fellas. Yeah, see, the, the, the shotgun in the mouth. That's, uh, that's kind of what sealed my fate there, I'm sensing. It's what I feel, at least. So let's see if I can uh, get a baseball in there, huh? Pineapples. Let's see if we can't head him off. Good shot of the uh, ricochet there. Normally, yeah, uh, needle or projectiles can actually ricochet quite a lot. I'm not sure how needles work. Okay, okay, okay. Because, like, how does the tiny little crystal part know to fly around and home in on things? I love catching Flood with the sword. Demon. While you were out partying, I studied the blade. Now the world is in flames and the Flood are at our door and you have the goal to ask me for aid. Zombie repeller, it says. Nice. Yeah, just try me. I mean, I wouldn't. So, does the Arbiter have a classification? Because, like, the American military talked about him, and they were like, yeah, he's a badass motherfucker. Kill him on sight. You know, don't fuck with this, uh, with this split jaw. He's pretty much the baddest ass. What are you sending for you? He's pretty much the baddest ass. Uh lead on the field. If there's a Sanghelia to watch out for, it's that. Um, which I guess is their equivalent of saying that he is the enemy's hyper-lethal vector. You know that thing I love saying? Uh, for those who don't remember, that's Chief and Noble Six's designations. In terms of like their, their score in killing dudes, that's where they're at. They're both considered hyper-lethal vectors, or they were. Um, I mean, Chief still is. And Noble Six was, which is why, you know, he can do pretty much everything that Chief can do. Maybe even a little more. Okay, I feel like I'm headed the wrong way. something that you can do to cover your ass. CYA. Uh, you can slice up bodies to make sure that they stay dead. Because the elite, uh, the, the flood rather, just needs enough biomass. Hmm. Yeah, I'm lost. Don't know where I'm headed. If the co if the arbiter has a grade, or if the covenant even gives out those grades, the arbiter is probably the equivalent to a uh, chief. Was it that way? There we go. That's not clear. I think. Like I know that just putting big fucking arrows on things like in Halo 1 is kind of tacky. But you know, it, it was something. Wow. 
So, um, does everyone remember in Halo 1 when Cortana's looking at a cave that looks like this? Like this? And she's like, this cave is not a natural formation. So originally, she was supposed to be looking at a cave that looked like that. Now I drive the Wraith. Is that... It is. That's my Spectre right there. Which means I've turned around and started going backwards. Well, I guess that would be why I thought it was a little confusing. I had gotten turned completely the hell around. So anyway, um... Originally, when they had written that line, because I talked about in Halo 1 how so much shit had changed, but when they wrote that line, the cave looked like that. It looked like a semi-natural cave, but if you looked at it for long enough, you'd be like, hey, wait a second. Uh, and then they changed it so it's this big, obvious Forerunner covenant, or Forerunner construction. Um, and made Cortana look like a doofus because she's looking at, she's looking at like the inside of a of, of a supermarket, and she's like, somebody built this. Um, so in this version, it looks like they kept what they actually wanted consistent. So it's like, oh, it doesn't look like a place that someone built. You know, it's unfamiliar. Oh, okay. Whereas three four three, when they updated it made it instead look like wait so that's the thing that I got killed at oh my god how I've gotten so fucking lost so I haven't even been down here have I no I haven't this reminds me of Dwemer Ruins partially because of the low poly and the, the color scheme um specifically Morrowind Dremor Dremor, Dwemer Ruins. Here we go. Jesus. Wait, sniper rifles suck. Against the Covenant, at least. So it looks like the Arbiter uses less battery out of the out of the thing per like swipe. Dude, I bit my tongue. Oh wow. See that swipe sound really sounds like Half Life. Jesus. Yep. There we go. There we go. Wow, yeah, and those are those are guys in there. Well, let's just start boosting to see where it takes us. So I was hoping to get through this mission kind of quick. Because I was like, ooh, let's see how quick I can beat it. This feels familiar. Okay, this looks new. And because I've been recording for, uh... Not a super long time, but like a, a, a noticeable amount of time. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. God, this thing has been eaten. Point done. Nice. How long have I been recording? Why don't I take a little look-see? Uh, 30 minutes, but that's also uh, the 16 minutes from this. I can keep going. So we're like 45 minutes in. That's okay. An hour-long episode already. And hey, it's a cutscene. The level keeps going after this. So I guess that uh, white armor elite is the guy you play as in your co-op. He's missing half of his jaw. That's cool. More human. You must be after the icon.
On your way, Arthur. I'll deal with these beasts. Heroic sacrifice. I'll be fine. Now go. Man, they love this fucking condol attack, huh? Like the Forerunners and Bungie, who we've discussed are potentially the same thing anyway. I see that coward didn't join you. I'll do what I can to keep the flood off your back. Don't be a dick in this. We cannot let the humans capture the icon. The higher ups do not look kind to you in failure. Taking a little break here. I'm starting to get like desynced with the episodes. But yeah, um, I've been Alfred. This has been Halo 2. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, bye. Permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? <laughs>